Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Franks, a platform evangelist at Acumatica, here to talk to you about our development platform in a series of short and easily digestible presentation chunks, this being the second of six. In this series, the goal is to give you decisive reasons to partner and deliver solutions jointly with Acumatica. In the last presentation, I provided an overview of the platform and introduced my audience to a spectrum of integration opportunities available to ISVs. Today in part two, I will discuss and demonstrate the first level of the integration that our ISVs can leverage, building add-ons using web services. All right, let's start off by doing a quick recap of the integration spectrum I introduced last time. When you think about our development platform, and if you look at the spectrum of partners we have, there are two main ways you can integrate. First, through the Acumatica customization engine and framework, and second, using a set of web services APIs. We have SOAP and REST endpoints that our partners use to share and transfer information between our platform and their applications. The first group of partners we have are the add-ons. Largely, these partners are using our web services APIs to do high fidelity data exchange between two systems. It is this first group that will be my focus today. The next group, which I'll talk about next time, is the loosely coupled applications. Yes, they're building using web services, but also customizing the core application using our customization engine. In the embedded, it's mostly about the customization engine and core framework. And lastly, in replatform, it's all about the underlying deep platform components. And I'll give uh, presentations on, on all these groups. An example of an add-on that integrates with Acumatic is Avalara's Avatax, which I'll demonstrate here in a moment. Now, Valera built a connector using our web services endpoints to automate sales and use tax calculation and compliance within Acumatica. By integrating with Avatax, there's no longer the need to manually enter tax data or, or upload rate tables. Let me show you. All right, I have Acumatica open on my desktop here. Uh, we're in the financial module, accounts receivable. We're going to enter an invoice. Uh, so I mean, what I'm going to show you is the integration with the Avatax. Uh, the first thing I do is I enter in the customer, I choose the customer, ABC Studios. Okay, and we type in a description, I'm just going to say software purchase. And uh, I'll add a detail here for that software quantity of one and then the unit price two hundred dollars okay now uh, I have to save this first and then what it's going to do is going to go out to the Avatax tax engine it's going to look up the rate based on the location of this customer and uh, and then calculate the various taxes that apply so we if I hit save here you'll see a little wheel spinning uh, tax was entered and calculated. If I go into the tax detail tab, you'll see that it, uh, there were three taxes that were applicable. Uh, the tax rates for each of those and then the tax totals and then some of which of course is here. So it's a very simple example of integration using an add-on, uh, using web services, it uses our web services endpoint and integrates with this particular form and uh, it's really simple in terms of integration you just have to have an account with Avalara and then uh, go ahead and set that up uh, in the uh, application and that's it so the next thing I'm going to show you is just uh, web services how how those endpoints actually work and just do a simple example so let me do that okay I have uh, Visual Studio open here and I've preloaded the uh, the web uh, site, it's a local site that was created for this demo where I'm gonna show you uh, how we can pass uh, contact information from the web form uh, to Acumatica. So let's go back to Acumatica. Okay, so I'm in the customer management module and uh, for every screen that we have here, whether I'm in projects, 
uh, customer management, you know, finance, it doesn't matter. Uh, you'll in the help screen, uh, you can, uh, there'll be a web service that you can select and uh, for every form. So this is the form that I happen to be in, and this is the service description language. Now I would just uh, take this service description language, copy it, go into Visual Studio, and uh, I would use that web, web reference. Now I've already added it, but I'll, I'll show you how I did that. So I can uh, right click on the website and add service reference, go to the advanced button, and then uh, add web reference. And I would paste that in, click this little arrow, and you can see it just loaded in the uh, complete schema for that reference. And then I would just uh, add reference, but since I already have it there, I'm not gonna do that. And we'll uh, get back. So what I have in front of you here is the code uh, for the contact form itself. And it uh, is logging in is, is hard coded here. You can see I have a, my password there and, and my admin login. And then the commands that, 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 that creates the, uh, the actions and then uh, each uh, of the fields mapped here. And then it uh, go, goes ahead based on the form that I enter uh, the information, it will uh, uh, put it into the system. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and uh, we'll go to contacts, and here's my form. Uh, I will add Lance Armstrong and his email. Just make it easy so I don't have to type all this in. And I'll just grab a random number, and uh, he's a cyclist. And we'll uh, submit that uh, as a lead. And right now it's going to the system, it's completed. So I will go back into Acumatica and we're in leads and I'll search for Lance. And there is Lance who I just entered. So uh, pretty simple uh, demonstration. Uh, I just simply used a web form to uh, transfer data from uh, the form to the uh, contacts, in, uh, in this case leads, and uh, to get the information in. Now I can go, you know, it's bi-directional, so I could take any information here, map it uh, to information in your application, and uh, you can grab information from, from here as well. So that's it. All right, back to the slides. Uh, today I reviewed the integration spectrum and showed you our first level of integration add-ons, demonstrating Avalara's uh, Avatax, and then showed you a simple demo of how easy it is to use web services. In the next presentation I do, I will uh, discuss and demonstrate loosely coupled integration. All right, we're at the end of our presentation. But as a platform evangelist, I'd be remiss to end without a call to action. So I invite you to join our Acumatica developer network. At least go out to our ADN site listed there in red, the adn.acumatica.com. Some of the benefits of joining, uh, the use of rapid uh, development tools of our platform. You'll get to use our software internally. We offer dedicated uh, technical account manager. You'll have access to technical support services, also online and in-person training. You'll be able to influence our platform roadmap and direction as part of our partner advisory group. Also, uh, you can take advantage of our joint marketing and selling opportunities. So until next time, enjoy. I'm Mark Franks. Thank you for watching.